everybody and welcome to Bella Coco. My name is Sarah Jane and I'm really excited to be bringing you a Christmas mini-series. Over the next few weeks I'm going to be showing you how to make some decorations for your table, for your Christmas tree and giving you some super easy gift wrap ideas. If you're new around here then make sure that you subscribe to keep up to date with all of the latest videos. This week I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute bow embellishment. For this particular example, I popped it on a gift wrap, but you can use it for absolutely anything. For this tutorial, you will need your selector yarn, a crochet hook, I'm using a five millimeter, but you can use whichever hook suits your yarn. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. To begin this tutorial, you want to start off by making your slip knot, and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Then what you're going to do is make your foundation chain. Now you want to start off by making a chain to the width of your what you want your bow to be and then double that because we're actually going to end up wrapping this chain round in a circle. So I'm going to start off by doing a chain of 30 because 15 um, chains is around about the same width as I want my bow to be. So you're just yarning over and pulling through. Make sure that you move your fingers up as you are doing your foundation chain because quite often people do this too tight and you don't want it to be overly tight. So go ahead and figure out how uh, wide you want your bow to be and then double the chain and then come back to me when you're ready. So I've now done my chain of 30 and what I'm going to do from here is I'm simply going to chain one and then I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook. So that's this one just here. And I'm going to do a double crochet all the way along this chain. So that's a UK term. In the US this is known as single crochet. So I'm inserting my hook into the chain, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through and then I've got two loops on the hook and then grabbing the yarn and pulling through both loops on the hook. Now I'm just going to do this into the top chain but you can catch both loops if you want to of the chain, it's totally up to you. So work your way along the whole of the work doing one double crochet into each chain along your foundation chain. Pause the video and meet me back once you've got to the end. So now I've come to the end of my row and you can see that the work is just twisting slightly and that's absolutely fine, it's quite normal and in fact we're actually going to use that to our advantage a little bit later on in the tutorial. But this is what the first row is looking like, I've now got to the very end of the chain and what I'm going to do is chain one and turn the work. And what you're going to do now is just simply do a double crochet into each of the gaps between all of your stitches. So we're going to go straight into that gap just there and do a double crochet and again into the next gap and again into each of the gaps all along this row. And this is what we're going to do for the entire bow actually. We're just building row after row of double crochet so it's a really quick and easy stitch to do. You're going to build it until you get to the height of what you want your bow to be. So I'm probably going to build about five rows um, and then come back to you once I've done those five rows. But you can do as many as you want. The higher you do your work here, the more your bow is going to cinch in at the middle. So go ahead, pause your video, repeat the same stitches, so double crochet all along. You're going to chain one and turn and do exactly the same thing for as many rows as you need and I shall meet you back shortly. I've now finished my width that I want to do my bow. I ended up doing nine so it's a little bit more than I originally thought uh, but just keep working until you feel that it's the right length for you. Then what you want to do is fold it over onto itself and you're simply going to attach one side to the other. So here what I'm going to do is insert my hook into the opposite side um, as it's laid flat and I'm going to just slip stitch from one side to the other all the way along. So it doesn't particularly matter uh, which spaces you go into, just try and keep it fairly even as you're doing this. And this is going to become the back 
of your work. So we're actually going to hide this, you won't actually see this seam at all. But as I say, just working your way along, keeping it as even as possible. Then once you get to the end, you're going to yarn over and pull that nice and tight. And then I'm going to get you to pull out that loop, just like so because we're actually going to use this in the center of our bow. So I'm going to pull this out now. This is going to be at the back. And then this loop that you've got this side, you're going to pop around the middle of your bow. And then you're just gonna pull that nice and tight and that should cinch in your bow. And this is where you can start to mold it however you want it to sit. Now as a bow, I like mine to sort of puff out at the edges just here and then sink in in the middle. But obviously you can do it however you prefer. And also make sure that you are getting it nice and central. Now from here, because this is still attached to your, uh, your yarn, you just want to wrap this around, making it look nice and pretty. So just wrapping around and you can do this section as thin or as thick as you like. And then once you're happy with it, what you want to do is take a nice long thread and then we're going to tuck this back into the work. So now I've cut off my thread and I've attached my darning needle. I'm just going to wrap this round a few more times, ending on the, the back of the work. And I'm just going to Put that underneath the yarn and just do that a couple of times just to really secure that into place and then once you've done it a few times you can then just form a knot just so that it's nice and secure and then I'm going to pop it through once more and snip off that very end. So there you have your bow and then of course you can just glue it onto the center of your parcel but I'm also going to show you how you can make some little tassels to go with this. In order to create your ribbons you're going to start off in exactly the same way as what we did um, for the actual bow itself. So you want to create your slip knot in whichever way you prefer and then we're going to start off by making your chain. So this chain can be whatever length you want. Um, if you wanted to create this so that it can wrap all the way around your, um, your box, then go ahead and do that. Or you could just do it so that they were just short and that they can dangle down from the actual bow itself. So decide what you want to do with this, but basically, you are going to make your chain to your length and then you are going to double crochet all the way back along your, uh, your chain. And this creates that spiral. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my double crochets back along here. If you want to pause the video, create your chain and then work your double crochets back along that chain and I'll meet you back once you've done. So I've now worked my way back along. I'm going to tie off my yarn by simply yarning over and pulling through and pulling out my yarn. And then this, you can just sculpt into a little bit of a better shape. So you can twist it even more. And then you can attach this onto your bow by sewing it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one of these and then show you what it looks like once I've complete my bow. So I've simply attached these tassels to the back post that's running along uh, where we tied off the center of the bow. So this just creates that extra little touch to our bow just to give a little bit more interest. So again, you can just pop this onto your, uh, onto your presents and it just creates that extra little touch to your bow. So there you go, that is your bow tutorial. Next week I'm going to show you how to make some ribbon and a gift tag which will be perfect to go with your bow. 
for Christmas gift wrap. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!